Thy Messiah has a vagina. Voluptuous vanguard, Lady Godiva. With her crimson rose lipstick and hieroglyph eyeliner, she rides wise into wars like Athena, nature's nymph, light of life, Lolita. With a smile that interrogates like Mona Lisa, Mother Earth, queen of the ether. Flowers spring from her fingers and the sky is her mirror. She is the lamb, the leader, the fire bearer and savior. She would eat Gehenna after slaying the ogre and hushing the hissing cobra. God breastfeeds martyrs while hungry eyes crucify her. Thy Messiah has a vagina. The Holy Ghost delivers Caesarean thunder. Monthly menzies, celestial wonder. The phenomena of wine made from water. Boys beg God to bow like vestal virgins, suburban servants. God's temple is not the kitchen. She didn't conceive the world to bake you chicken. Men recite ghetto sermons and cook famine. Apples stuck in the throats of Adams. Saving Eves from boys with batons just before the cosmos is aborted into a single atom. The father is a girl. That is why men offer God nothing but betrayal. Thorns and steel nails, blood oaths with bail. Climbing the summit of sin, the tower of Babel. Treating God like sheep, cattle, snatching burning bush into mantle to rekindle candles. Men strangle their shadows, sickened by their own morals. For centuries, men have prayed to phallic symbols whilst blaspheming the nipple. It is easier for a camel to enter the eye of a needle than for the sentient to praise the essence that cradles. They try to dismiss God as a parable, but her body is the Bible, Genesis, Exodus, and Matthew. Throw pearls to pigs, and it will be trampled. The priceless is often undervalued.